Hey, here's a real short video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. I got two things for you today. Uh, one is uh, this is a lead-in to an article page on my website about a guy who bought a couple of T-shirts from me and emailed me to tell me that uh, he was on his way to a one-week MIG welding class in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, Lincoln Electric. And uh, when he got back, I asked him if he wouldn't mind writing an article about his experience, and, and he did. And it's, it's, it's just an awesome article, a terrific article. He did a hell of a job on it, and uh, he made me want to go when I read the article. And I, and I might just do that. And uh, so that, and also there's a, a link on the page to uh, a resource that Lincoln offers on their website on flux core settings. Now, flux core is not just for your 115 volt Home Depot uh, Lincoln MIG welders. It is a heavy duty process used on earth moving equipment and ships and all that. And I get I get questions all the time about guys getting ready to go take a flux core test and what are the best settings for vertical uphill or overhead or whatever. And oftentimes I refer I give them this link because it is such a, a good resource. It's buried in the website. It's hard to find, but it is worth it's worth it when you find it. So, you know, it's about eight clicks from the home page, and uh, no, not many people are going to drill down or into this as I am to, to, to do all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a link on my website, take you straight to this little PDF uh, document that's got all kinds of wire feed settings and for all kinds of different uh, wires and positions and all kinds of different diameters. So at the bottom of this YouTube video there will be a, a blue link. You can click that and you can go right to the web page if you're watching this on on YouTube and you can go right to my web page and there will be a link and link to take you right to that PDF document without having to drill down. Okay, don't be afraid to invest in yourself with a little training. This guy that wrote the MIG article, he uh, ponied up four or five hundred bucks plus room and board, went to the training, and he was not sorry. He was pumped. He was jacked up when he got back. Like I said, I may go to the same training if I can carve out enough time in my schedule. All right. Thanks for watching. WeldingTipsAndTricks.com.